Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to improve your gaming performance. It's free and easy for Windows 10. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by adjusting your power settings within Windows 10. And the way we go about doing that is moving our cursor over to the right hand corner of our screen here down on the Windows 10 taskbar and right over the battery icon we want to left click and once we do we move our cursor up to power and sleep settings and we're going to go ahead and click on that and that will open up the settings window for power and sleep um, screen and once we're there additional power settings is what we want to go ahead and click on and then that gives us our power options now what is by default is balanced which is recommended and what we want to do is click on this right hand arrow right here and that down arrow allows us to see our high performance setting and we want to go ahead and click on that and once you do that you are now set for high performance on your power settings and you should see a significant improvement on your performance within all applications including gaming okay let's go ahead and close this out and take a look at step two to increase the performance within Windows 10 is our um, performance options and we do that by going down and right clicking on the start menu icon opening up the hidden menu and going up and clicking on system now that will open up the system information window and um, over on the left hand side here down on the bottom we want to go ahead and click on advanced system uh, setup and that will open up uh, this window here system properties and we want to go ahead and click on advance if you don't have advance already open and once you do we want to go ahead and click on the settings button over here on the right hand side and that opens up the performance options window and under the visual effects tab we have four options down here first one is let windows choose what's best for my computer by default second one is adjust for best per uh, appearance and the third one is adjust for best performance and the fourth one is custom now what we want to do is go ahead and then check on uh, a check mark on adjust for best performance and if you want one of these features to run because that's what best performance does it turns all these um, visual effects off if you want any individual visual effect to run put a check mark by it that makes it custom and once you've done that and decided just to run those few that you um, got accustomed to click on apply and then go ahead and click on OK and then we'll click on OK again and close this out. Let's go ahead and move on to our third and final step, adjust system configurations. OK, let's go ahead and get started here by clicking on the Start menu icon. And we're going to right click. That will open up the hidden menu. And we'll go up and click on Run. And that opens up the Run command prompt. And we can go ahead and type in msconfig at this point and once you've done so go down click on OK and that will open up the system configuration window and we'll go up and click on the boot tab here and as you can see I'm dual booting Windows 10 and Windows 8 but let's focus on Windows 10 and what we do is go down below here and we want to go ahead and change this uh, boot time from default 30 seconds and I like 5 seconds some people make it 3 but I like 5 and that will boot up Windows 10 quicker once I've done that I want to go ahead and make sure that I don't have any program apps that are starting up that uh, don't need to be starting up and using up my resources so I'm going to go up here and under the startup tab I'm going to click that and in Windows 10 um, the way you uh, control or stop or enable the um, programs that start up while you're booting is in the task manager so I'll click there and then under uh, startup let me move this up a little bit so we can see this better um, in my case I have uh, three programs running um, that are in the startup but um, I only have one of them that I'm gonna select and disable from running you may have uh, a dozen programs that you might not want running but at any case don't disable 
any antivirus programs um, that you have running. Leave them enabled, very important. And uh, I'm going to select this one right here, the OneDrive, just as an example. And I'm going to go down here and click on Disable. Now that one's disabled and will not start up um, when the uh, computer um, starts up. Now, in order to enable one that maybe I made an error on and decided later that, hey, I want that one to go ahead and start while I boot up, I go down here and click Enable. And once again, that's enabled. So you can um, change your decision anytime you like. And uh, once you're done, um, we'll go ahead and close that out and go down here and we'll go ahead and click on OK. And then you're prompted to make another choice, um, restart now or exit without restart. If you want to go ahead and make these changes and have them take effect immediately, then you would click on restart. We have come to the end of this tutorial. I am sure that you will see a significant increase in performance in your system. Subscribe and like my video.